Hello and welcome back to this the second part of the tutorial for the night cycle. So, if you have um, joined me the last tutorial, you might have noticed a little problem if you would run the script for a little bit longer. And that's gonna be this part. If I say I'm gonna run this, and we wait till it's midnight, which is 24. Bam, there it goes, it just goes over 24. And we don't want that because if you, well, maybe if you want to show this yeah, in game your time, you don't want it to, to show this because it's so clear. It's, yeah, you don't want it. So we're going to fix it immediately. And we're going to put it here. And that is going to be if the current time is bigger than the max time, we will just. And there we go and also when um, when you change something with the time and there might be a case that you you know you want to reset it back to the real time so we're going to make a public boolean for that and this boolean is going to be called reset to real time And we're gonna check for that over there. Uh, sorry, over here. If uh, a reset to real time is true, oh. what we want to do is actually the same as we're gonna do here. But we are not gonna copy paste this because this one is already called there. So we're just gonna say. Set the real time again over there, but of course, um, if the time's different, we want this also to set our rotation right. But that would mean we would have duplicated code, and we are also not going to do that. So we are going to make just another function, and this function is going to be called. Well, let me just copy paste it over here. This is going to be set rotation to time. And this is actually doing nothing more than this. There we go. So suddenly our start function became quite small. And what we could do here is um, we could call this uh, over here and over here. But that's also duplicate code and we also don't want that so we are just gonna say that because those are both called here we're just gonna say that this function over here is gonna set the rotation to time also and we want it well we want to check it well right and we want to reset everything back so we are also gonna use the or time speed and the time speed is gonna be Zero, uh, one dot zero, and we also want our time to be shown well. So we're also going to do this, and uh, yeah, that's actually it. Let me see if I miss anything. We got our string. We got our well, more or less our reset. We got a rotation there. But our update function, which um, needs a little bit more because uh, this will always be true if we toggle it, if we enable it. So at the point that this has been set, we want or reset the time to become false again. So it will just be a toggle that will set itself disabled. And I think that's it. Put some things here for so to make stuff clear. We used for calculations. Okay. And this should work if we got F8. Okay, that's good if we started there. I also made um, 
a directional light and I put it over here well and it is important that well this is just a small number this is just zero this is also just zero to put um, 270 over here because otherwise it will always face into the z direction which is north so if you put 270 there everything will be all right you can also put uh, minus 90 there doesn't really make sense because it will change to this anyway and what this does is it will just shine a directional light um, into the position opposite of this one so this would actually be the sun you can also add a flare to this one so that when you look in it it actually looks like the sun uh, to make, look at, make it look a little bit more fancy um, what you can do is you could put on the other side uh, the moon for example um, so that the moon will rise uh, at night um, you can put in uh, a darkness um, with your editor well go back to your editor and then to your render settings and just um, Increasing the fog or uh, increasing or decreasing this light as you can see it will um, light up white dark you could do that to ma make it a little bit more yeah, nice looking but that's all up to you um, well, I hope you liked this tutorial I hope you can make some sweet uh, games with it um, this was um, let's see this was for somebody God, let me get it there again. Let's see. There was a question from Survivor Z, um, and I hope that you um, that you can use this, and that this is what you. Uh, we're looking for and I hope I helped you with it um, and I hope everybody else also can use this um, if you liked it please press this thumbs up um, share it with your friends we're going to the share and link this video to well if you want all your social things I only use well that one um, share it, subscribe to my channel um, it would really help and um, yeah please keep checking out my videos and have a nice day goodbye